before birth. Pitten that away. Your Gurunba, your spirit, shimmers across the manta, the land, searching, looking for its unborn body to rest in. This is called Jarenba. Jarenba creates your own Jukurba, or story. Jukurba gives you responsibilities to look after your country. You were born. Now your mother, she's a strong woman. And while you're still tiny, she may she may walk a long way from where you first touched the earth. And all the land in between becomes your atun mankunjaku, your responsibility. But if you can't look after your ngura, your country, it will gurunba gururinguku. It will suffer. So you also have your wajja, your big family. You have the place that your father is responsible for. Ngura banya balamba ngura wajja, the country to which he belongs. Now that's more atun mananyi. That's more responsibility. Maybe your birthplace is in the same place as your cousin's birthplace, but your father's birthplace is in the same place as your auntie's cousin's school, mama. And the Australian government wonder why we Aboriginal people don't get a job. Now the Dutchmen, they don't shake your hand, they break it. Ah. <laughs> they crush it. But we don't. Because our way is very, very softly. Everybody, this is Derek. <laughs> Next to him sitting is Pansy. And over here, this is Sonia. <laughs> Why? 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 We would like to teach you a deeply cultural song. Kadalabiri Mordi Jina, Mordi Jina, Mordi Jina, Kadalabiri Mordi Jina, Bina Guru. So throughout the last 60,000 years, my people have been living in that Pidinjara country, watching, learning, and remembering. And some of our people have come and gone, mostly people from other Aboriginal nations passing through our country, polite way, 150 years ago. My grandfather was out hunting. <gasps> and he sees this Guga Maligaja, this strange creature, see? With a long hairy neck, Junta Nurka Waramulaba, long skinny legs, and this man with a big head all wound round. And Paluru Chantar Narani, he's kneeling on a rug. Something is happening here. You see, more of these strange men keep coming, hundreds of them, Afghans, building their mosques in our desert facing Mecca every day, marrying my family and building snake tracks across our country. <laughs> oh. Even in the just last 60 years, there are still big mobs of us, still living in the bush, looking after country. And then these missionaries came and they want us to leave the desert to come and live underneath a tin roof. Oh, <laughs> 
So, Jan Pigunguranga, Spinifex Country, Bunu Wadanga, Jogla Hitinka, under a tree by a rock pool, in the cool of the evening, a baby boy is born, Arnold, son of Jack Jamison. And he is my father. The tests are the result of close British-Australian cooperation. Operation Buffalo is the test's code name, an apt title in this vast uninhabited area. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. family walking from waterhole to waterhole know how far they can safely travel but then they come to something called a fence too far to turn back to the last waterhole they can't climb over it so they die there like vermin <laughs> Mulia and other were own Mobigal Junion Palangai Gunjo wearing Monai Mulant Monai called the Jordan. See, at the same time in the desert, Arna Mujina Anani Munujiji Kulunga, Karini. All our family are carrying the little ones in India, Kujaba, Guru, Guru, Nangani. They know something is wrong. They see the clouds. And the children are too tired to walk. Jamu. Gamu. Morva. Bigger than I want to get The elders are left by the road. Too sick to wait for trucks. They come and pick them up. And Walja. Gulbinga Gulbini and families hiding in caves wait till that sticky cloud pass over. For years the bombs kept falling, each a thousand more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. 22 kilos of plutonium scattered across our country. 12 years they bombed us. Twice as longer than World War II. <laughs> and so, after the bombs, there is my father, little Arnold. A boy is there at Kundalini mission like a refugee camp. <gasps> ah! There's Jumbo Jack and Walja Birgal, more family, on the back of Jumbo Jack's truck. And there's Jumbo Jack helping them down. Now Arnold can't see his mother, but she should be there to meet him by now. And Jumbo Jack, he's looking too. Ah, here she comes. Ah, ka palo palewia. She's not right. She's got a bottle. Other men. Jamu Jack gets angry now. He hits her. She's on the ground. He pulls a spear out on her. But Anu falls back on the bed. His mother is finished. Gone. Can you tell me why? <laughs> Boo. He, um, he 
killed man. And so Arnold runs away. But they bring him back and they lock him up. He runs away. But they bring him back and they flog him. And all the while, Arnold is growing and growing. And now he steals a car to run away. But should he run back to his country where the poison sand would get on his skin and kill him? Jua, my father, is a nowhere kid. Without his country, what is he? Without his country, who is he? Well, Arnold, he liked her, Gail. Now he found, found out why she looked after the little ones, because she knew what it was like for them. She too had been left with the missionaries at 18 days old. Now, Gail's mother gave her threepence to put in a sock so she could buy lollies when she grew up. Always said that her mother would be coming back, so Gail would buy the bag of mixed lollies to share with her mother. Well, Arnold's father, he can't come to the wedding because he's in jail. But Gail's mother, Gail has found her now, asked her to the wedding, told her about Arnold, and told her there'd be bags of mixed lollies on every table. Big party after. And Gail's mother is on her way, walking. She hails a taxi. Back seat. She sits careful not to crease her new frock. And on the way there, they take the wrong road. But no matter, but she's anxious. She might be late. And so, the driver now goes down a dead end. And this driver doesn't know what he's doing. And now this driver has to stop the car. And this driver does know what he's doing. As Balunya Bungani. As he bashes her. Bashes her in the Sunday best. Bashes her with a wheel brace. Bashes her until Gail's mother, my other grandmother, is then finished. <laughs> poison and, and the sorrow. Many, many people are dying from a strange ilunja, you know, death. Cancer ilunja, alcohol ilunja, but the people are still getting sick from the cancer. Drift into town to be near a doctor, split up more and more. Hey, can I have some money? I got a wife in hospital. But my brother Jangala, he sees it both ways. He knows the bush, but he likes it in the town. Mukuringanyi. He likes the grog, the drink. Gunga Juragu Mukuringanyi. He loves his women when he gets drunk. Mukuringanyi. He likes his fists when he drinks. But I love my brother Jangala. And I wanted to make a film about him. But I think it's about Walja, family. It's not my fault, man. You're right. Too much pressure, but. Look at over there. You got two beautiful little kids there. Oh. They want a daddy. Oh. They want to look up to somebody, you know? That's why I brought them up here, so that you can have them. I love you, man, all right? You're right, man. Fucking, come here. You're right. In 1986, my family used some of that 
compensation money to buy an excavator to make a road back out the country. Hey! This way! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, stop! Hey, stop! Stop! Gina tracks. Footprints. They know these footprints from about 30 years ago. So, then a Jinna Wananu, they followed them. And there, they found Mr. Richter, Muno Balamba Walja, and his family. They've been hiding in the cave there. Big reunion. And they brought him back to Kalgoorlie. And this is how, in 1986, the last of my people meet white people for the first time because they were hiding from that bomb. Well, we got introduced to it, so I don't know. <laughs> Once again, eh? I love you, niggas. I love you, my family. I'm, I'm not a nigger. I'm an Aboriginal. My family, my coons. So they called us years ago. I love you, coons. But we are not. Well, I love you, mixed breeds. Because of the radiation, a lot of my family have gone now. But lucky for us, we're good little breeders. We've got a lot of teenage mums popping them out, eh? But it won't be long for you people with your low birth rate. There'll only be a few of you left living on the edge of the city in camps. But it's all right, it's okay. Because when we pass you, we'll give you a few dollars. Is your dying pillow. I give you something. You give me something. Ngaparji, ngaparji. Ngayelo nyanganyi ngayugugurumba.